religion, political affiliation, or other personal practices. KYND, a Synergy Broadcasting Company. KYND Radio, PN Global News. Today in the studio, in the house, we have Miss Vanessa Applin Letson. Good, Good morning to you. Good morning to you. And to my right here, we got Miss Constant Jones. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Constant filling out a little paperwork. We need to, you know, get some approvals on. So you know how it works. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, listeners. KYD Radio, PN Global News. Fabulous morning here to meet Miss Vanessa and Miss Constance here. We're going to talk about the city. We're going to talk about NMSDC. We're going to talk about certifications, what it takes to be certified as a minority, woman-owned, government, LG, LGBTQ business. You know, and I think also on, on, the, um, on the city side, is there certain designations also, um, Constance? I mean, but that's, oh, my God. See, I'm already messing up. See, I'm going to get it right, though. I'm going to get this right. No, no, no. Uh, Okay, Constance and Vanessa. Got it, got it, got it, got it. (laughs) Yeah, the city, we have uh, six different certifications we process in our office. Six. Total six, yes. Six. We're going to go through all those, right? We're going to go through all those. We've got to let everybody know what they need to (laughs) get certified. Yeah, as a business to, um, oh, you've already done this, right? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so six certifications that you need to yes. go through in order to work. programs and uh, two federal programs, so we can cover all six if you like. Oh, yeah, we're going to get to it. We've we got some time. <laughs> we're going to spend some quality time here with Ms. Constance, Ms. Vanessa, talking about the certifications and, and you know, the importance of, of certification and why you need these certifications to sometimes get to the next level, right, Constance? Yes, uh, you've been in this game a long time, right? Absolutely. I've been with the organization for 22 years. Woo, we 22 years. Boy, she got some retirement packages coming, <laughs> Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. Let's talk to Let's start with you and talk about, you know, your organization and who you are and what you do for your organization. Okay. Um, I am Constance Jones, the Vice President of Operations for the Houston Minority Supplier Development Council. We are one of 24 regional councils that make up the National Minority Supplier Development Council. We are third-party private sector certification entity. So what that means is we certify for private corporations like your Shell, Chevron, Exxon, Best Buy, Walmart, Target. Right. So any Fortune 500 company that is looking to do business with minority businesses, that's what we certify for. See, all these listeners out here, you need to understand what that means. Now, doing business with major corporations, Exxon, Shell, Toyota, Frito-Lay, Pepsi, yep. all the major corporations. Okay. All right. We'll turn to Vanessa. All right. Well, we're directly on the other side. So the city of Houston's uh, local programs, which is minority women, small business, and we have a persons with disability program. Uh, it's, that's for our city funded contracts. And mm-hmm. then the two federal programs are a disadvantaged business enterprise and airport concessionaire disadvantaged business okay. enterprise. Okay. Airport concessionaire. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. So yeah. if you want to do any work in that airport, uh, you may have to have that ACDBE certification in place. So your government contracting is what right. we handle. Right. Yes, sir. And there are some other agencies like HISD and the Port of Houston and Metro okay. that heavily accept our certifications to meet their goals. Okay. But now, so cities do accept certain certifications, the ones that you actually just expounded on, mm-hmm. and NMSDC accepts the NMSDC certifications, right? Right. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to break all this down. down. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We're gonna have to have some fun in here. <laughs> As I say to Antonio and Trace McGrady and Jess and all our partners out there, Dame and Doc, we're gonna break some certifications down today. That's what we're gonna do in the house today, right? That's right. We gotta let the listening public understand what these certifications are, how you actually attract and get these certifications and get certified. As a minority business, uh, and also from the city right. perspective. Now, that doesn't have anything to do with the state, though, does it, or just? No, sir. So the uh, minority women, small business, and persons with disabilities is the city uh, funded contracts. The city of Houston's okay. funded contracts. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. However, we have an agreement in place with the state hub. 
Right. So if you are approved in our minority and or woman business enterprise program, and you're like, Hub, we kind of remove a process from you. You check yes in our application. Uh, if you qualify for one of our programs, then you will go on a download to Hub and maybe eligible for their uh, that state funded program, which is still different. Right. Still um, different. right it'll take right. the application process uh, away from you. So we kind of offer that through our department too. And so all of these applications, um, you know, this is this is the new age technology, <laughs> so <laughs> that you can download these applications, right? Online. We urge you to go online and apply for certification. See, that's all you got to do. Yeah, like, I, you know? was just, I was don't download. It's only online. Only <laughs> online. Yeah. Okay. So look here, you ain't got to come in here and fill out all this paperwork anymore. <laughs> all you have to do is go online exactly. and you go to NMSDC or you go to Vanessa and you download the applications to make sure that you fill these things up properly. Now, it yours is online, physically online, yeah. right? So e- everything you got to do is just plug it in. Online. Yep. It physically plug it in online and upload all of the required documents online, and you are basically done. I mean, we have some additional steps to take other than that, but right. um, we are purely electronic. Oh, man. This, you know, this new age. And Vanessa, everything is online. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we offer you the option to go online, Uh-oh. which is why we, we urge you options. to do so. <laughs> However, we got some options over oh, there. <laughs> If you are old school and you like that hard copy, it, okay. it's on our okay. website. Okay, and yeah. some people like to download, <laughs> download stuff it, and read it everything out. and right. go through it and make sure that they checked off all the boxes. Yeah. And okay, that that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, we got new age. We got old age. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there, but we we do have the, the option online. So right, we are right, urging you right. go online and apply, please. <laughs> right. So one thing today, you know, starting off, um, we had questions that, you know, we had sent out because we wanted to make sure that we had the total understanding before we left today that what people need to really do to become certified and, and, you know, what the importance of it is. So one of the questions was, why should an entrepreneur get certified as a disadvantaged business or minority-owned business? So, Vanessa, as a disadvantaged business, why should they really become a certified entity? Well, the program's in place to give a minority women, small businesses, disadvantaged business owners, an opportunity to work on government contracts where there normally wouldn't be one. Right, Uh, right. So that's why that program is in place. Uh, Mm -hmm. There's goals attached to these uh, contracts to give you that opportunity to bid and potentially be put on the contract to uh, get your feet wet in the government uh, procurement process to get on a government project where you may not get that opportunity outside of certification. So we got to make sure people understand you might not get that opportunity, right? You might not. Right. If you don't really go and get certified, mm-hmm. there's a chance you might not get the opportunity right. because somebody be like, hold up, I really want you to be a certified business to right. do this, right? Yes, so, okay. Yes, All right. Okay. Okay. We're we getting there, Vanessa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Constance. So, from NMSDC side, which I'm also certified as NMSDC through Margo and DFW Council. Shouts out to the DFW Minority Business Council, Andrew, Margo, and everybody, all the team. <laughs> but... Okay, Constance, why? I see Constance clowning. Okay, you know you lied. <laughs> <laughs> she forgot she lied. <laughs> That's okay. But we all, we cutting up. We having fun in the yes, house of their own certification. Love. There you go. So, Constance, so why should you become a minority business and get certified from, you know, Houston Minority Business Council? So, from the NMSTC perspective, entrepreneurs should be certified if they're really looking to do business with uh, corporate America. Um, corporate America has a different kind of slant than government programs because they're not necessarily having to do these types of programs. So they're looking for best quality. They're looking for um, ways to increase the economic input into the economy through small businesses and growing minority business development. Right. Mm-hmm. And so when you look at why they participate in this type of organization and why they are seeking firms that are getting certified, they are really looking for how does this affect their bottom line and how can a minority business happen to add value to their customer right. bank. Right. So most corporations, and, and, you know, because I'm in this game as a minority business, mm-hmm. they want to count spend. They want to count their dollars and know that they're giving dollars back to the community, which makes a huge economic impact to the city, right? Absolutely. So it's really important for you as a business, and if you're a minority business, then minority designations are African American. Hispanic, Asian Indian, Asian Pacific, and Native American. So you got to get certified. Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. I I mean, just (laughs) playing, right, Vanessa? I mean, you know. 
you got to get certified if you want to do business with these major corporations or you want to do business with the city and mm -hmm. from a disadvantage standpoint so that some corporations or city entities right. get an opportunity to count their expenses. Absolutely. To make sure, I mean, we want to know that that we, we're definitely creating a, a, a total impact that's bringing bottom line results back to the community. Yes. And that keeps people shopping. Right. Yes. Now, there you go. Hold, hold on. Hello. We got <laughs> brand, brand loyalty. Right. right. <laughs> brand loyalty. We got something working here. Right. right. <laughs> so we're trying to uh, attract more. And so, okay, we, we, we got money now. We got a contract. We're working with a major corporation or with the city. And that's an opportunity for us now to go shop Happen. and do we some spending, things. We're spending. We're hiring. We're spending. Yeah. We're we got to keep this thing going. Yes. I, I don't understand what the, I don't know what the problem might be or what is the blocking point for people to understand that if you want to be a minority business, just get certified. Right. So, what, what are the challenges that you really see just getting certified? Um, two Any things. Y'all. So, <laughs> so, so, so two things, things right? <laughs> so one of, the, one of the issues that we tend to see as it relates to that is just the overwhelming amount of paperwork. Right. There you go. Um, paperwork. And really? a lot of people I'm, I'm don't like, like paperwork. No, no, I'm, I'm going to be like, uh, hold on, Alan Iverson. Practice. Practice. <laughs> Practice? Oh, that's, that, I, I that think, was my favorite. That was think, my favorite line. I think Tracy and AD and all the fellas appreciate it. Practice? You mean to tell me I got to practice? Right. Okay, okay. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop cutting up. But, you know, paperwork. You mean to tell me I got to fill out all this paperwork? You, yeah. Really? You do. And here's the thing that I like to tell entrepreneurs. Okay. In order for you to get in the game, mm -hmm. right, in order for you to really have a seat at the table and if you don't like the way practices are happening, you don't like the way procurement opportunities are happening, you have to get into the game. Gotta and so that means game. you have to play by their system right. until you're in it. Right. Right. So that right. means – when we ask for these documents from a certification standpoint, it's not because we want to be nosy or right. we're all up in your business. It really is because we're trying to make sure you have some financial solvency and that you understand your business so that you're able to compete for these contracting opportunities. Right. I, I don't think no corporation or no city entity or no government entity really want to give you a contract and you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Right? I mean, you know, this show is about educating, you know, the listening public right. and the viewership to understand, you know, one, how to get certified and how to go about doing it. You got some pain points, but you need to get through that. Right. Mm -hmm. You right. know, there's some price points that you got to pay for certifications nope. on, in some instances. Not you. I know Vanessa. <laughs> I, I know, I know Vanessa. Like, like, hold on. I got you on that right. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Now. Not us. You, you ain't got to yeah, pay. pay. Listen, you ain't got to pay for Vanessa's certification, you but go. you got to pay for costumes. <laughs> you got to pay for us. <laughs> so, so, look here. We're at KYND Radio. We're at PIN Global News 832. Two three zero five five nine two. Also, you can go to Facebook Live and stream with us uh, at KYND Radio. Uh, you can also view us on uh, YouTube at Penn Global News. I'm Rodney Woods. I'm with Vanessa. I'm with Miss Constance. We'll be right back. So excited at KYND to have back the hit show, Do What I Say, featuring Dr. Polly Heil Neely. Doc, tell them a little bit about what you do. Yeah, we're a holistic healthcare clinic. We do everything holistic at Abundant Health and Wellness Clinic, and that's located at 323 East Main Street in downtown Humble, Texas. Or you can call us 281 312 2860. Tune in every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on KYND. Zakia Larry of Zakia Larry Live every Monday at 10 a.m. on KYND 1520 a.m. In a world where the divorce rate is at an all-time high, we're here to offer you real-life relationship advice to help you navigate to and through your marriage. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour with our new show, Sitting with, with the Suttons where we're all about strengthening our community by, by making, making marriage, marriage great, great again. again. 
Find us on Facebook at Tristan and Cece. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour. Sitting Sitting with with the the Suttons. Suttons. Sitting with the Suttons. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on 1520 KYND. This is actress, radio host, and mother. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out here, girl. <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch. Oh, let's yes. talk about it. Radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself. Come on now. Uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV. We are back together. Full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman, host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold moves that transform their lives. We are creating a community of game changers. Listen in each week and let's help you unleash the power within. Bold talk, bold impact, bold transformation. Be sure to connect with me at www.livesuperbold.com. Super Bowl Live with Nicole R. Coleman. Tuesdays, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1520 KYND. The power. Your kind of radio. I love this station. 1520 KYND. Welcome back to KYND Radio, Penn Global News. Rodney Woods, Miss Vanessa, Miss Constance, talking about certifications. You know, why you should become a certified minority business. Why should you get certified with the councils? Why should you get certified from the government standpoint? And we also found out that with Vanessa's certification, it is free. It's free. Yes, sir. It's free. All six of them. All, All six certifications All that six. you can have in your portfolio. Yes. And you mean to tell me you're not getting certified? <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. Oh, <laughs> we got to change this up, Constant <laughs> Vanessa. Uh, you need to get, listen, listen, audience. This is Rodney speaking. You need to go get certified. We have it's, a- it does it's not it's painful a little bit because of the little paperwork, but it's like practice. Go to practice. We Go get certified. We even offer a workshop every Thursday to help you understand the paperwork we need. Okay, so tell us about the workshop. Tell the listening artists what they need to do and what workshop they need to come to. It's the pre-certification workshop offered every Thursday in our office, 611 Walker, the seventh floor, at 2 o'clock. And so, so you're going to have to slow it down for them. Tell them 611 Walker. <laughs> okay. Second floor. Second floor. Seventh. Seven. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. The seventh floor. It's 611 Walker in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Yes. On the seventh floor. Go get certified, please. Come on down to that workshop. We'll go ahead and answer any questions you have. We'll cover that application, both applications. Give you a hard copy of the application and cover the uh, supporting documents that you will need to turn in. We'll cover the requirements for certification. Wow. That's amazing, though. I mean, we cut up we have fun we joke we laugh you know this is very serious about what we're doing we're very passionate uh you know i think constance you've been in the game 20 has it been 20 years now yes now least. that's passion i mean <laughs> i know you're getting a check too but hold on <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a check but there's still passion to be able to work with businesses trying to help them yeah. get certified to become a minority business and you know be able to work with the major corporations right absolutely and we're always looking for different ways and opportunities to really help minority businesses. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think one of the positive and good things that we have here in Houston is that we also work very closely with the city of Houston. Okay. So with our certification, we will actually expedite your city of Houston MBE certification. Okay. And that's all part of the service um, because you've already done most of the work when you got certified with us. Right. And um, as Vanessa mentioned earlier, we have that same agreement with the state of Texas. Okay. So okay. we, and, and we're so always looking. So you got a good looking, collaboration right. going with the city, the Absolutely. state. Right. And, and once you complete your paperwork, it's not like you're going to have to redo everything, right? Right. 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 It, it's, pre, it's pretty duplicable. You can Absolutely. redo it, redo it, Absolutely. and redo it. And you can also do it online over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Vanessa. <laughs> I had to put that plug in. You can do it online with Constance and Vanessa. You can do it. You got the option. You have that option. Do it online right. or you can print it off and do it. But, I mean, the fact that you still have it in your file. Absolutely. 
you know, and I, we're just trying to make it clear to the audience right. that if you're trying to really scale and grow your business, you mm-hmm. got a good business, mm-hmm. you know, outside of you getting certified to get business, of course, you know, the capital play comes in. And right. we talk about mm-hmm. that quite a bit as well because it's two things. You need procurement. Mm-hmm. you know, from contracts and you right. need capital yep. to continue to scale your business so right. you can have a good back office. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, the capital is for you to have a good back office because Exxon is not going to want to give you the contract if you don't have a good back office. Mm-hmm. Correct. And the government is not going to want to give you a right. contract if you don't have a good back office. I mean, we just can't give it to you just because, okay, I'm certified. Right. right. So let me make sure it's clear. There you go. <laughs> just because you're certified as a minority business or you went to practice today, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to play in the game today, right. Right? right? right. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a contract right. because you are a certified minority business. So we're not saying that just because you got certified, you're going to get a contract with Exxon there or the government, right. Right. right? right. Okay, I'm, let, I'm going to go ahead and expound. Let's go ahead, Constant and Vanessa. Y'all can take this part over. <laughs> so it doesn't that, mean you get a contract. It doesn't. Right. Okay. Certification is just a process that you went through that say you are who you say you are and you right. could provide a service. You still have to be able to compete because you're not just competing against other minority businesses. Right. You're competing against uh, veteran-owned, disabled um, women, and just regular suppliers right. that are all looking right. for that business. Right. So the certification is really just an added benefit. There you go. Um, it's not what you should lead with. You should still be able to provide a service to someone who right. needs that service. Right. And you should be able to provide value. It's mm-hmm. still about the best value that's provided who a corporation is looking to do business with. Right, right. Vanessa, you want to add anything to that? Well, she, she pretty much covered it. We uh, would like you to get certified. Again, it won't uh, necessarily mean you'll wind up with a contract. Uh, you still need to get out there and meet the uh, departments. You need to shake hands and market your business. Right. Just because we have goals for minority women and small businesses attached to some of our city contracts mm-hmm. don't necessarily mean that your small or minority-owned business will right. get on mm-hmm. that contract. Right. Yeah. You, so know, you have I, to get out there. And I'm going to jump in as a minority business now. So I'll play devil's advocate to a point. But I also know that me having a certification is a shorter line. It's a shorter line for me to actually try to get into mm-hmm. to do work with the government or, you know, major corporations. Because if I got certified and, and I know for a fact if Toyota or, or Nissan or Exxon said, hey, I'm looking for X, Y, Z companies, mm-hmm. there's going to be a short list of lineup that's going to be certified. That's right. You know, and, and I've used that to my advantage, you know, to get in because, okay, I paid 250 300 whatever the number was. Mm-hmm. To get certified, right. but it was worth it because that was a $3 million contract. Right. right, right, right. Right. So in addition to certification, we also provide additional resources to okay. actually surround the minority business. Okay. And what you were just explaining is a great synopsis of the advocacy that we provide to mm-hmm. our firms. Mm-hmm. And so in addition to us getting our minority firm certified, we advocate on their behalf to the major corporations mm-hmm. to say, hey, you may be missing a great opportunity mm-hmm. to look at these certified suppliers. They may be leaner, smaller than what you're traditional doing business with, but they have the same capability, capacity, mm-hmm. and ability to perform. Easier to work with. Absolutely. Right? Mm-hmm. Easier to work with because they're smaller, they're leaner, right. and most of the time they, they're really hungry. Yep. Mm-hmm. More and they, responsive. Right. And right. they want to go to practice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A D and T Mac, they want to go to practice. So, you know, I'm I'm trying to throw that in there so I don't want D and D to think they can't go to practice. You gotta practice. I'm gonna keep y'all practicing. Anyway. But you know, it's it's that's what it's all about. That's right. So, you know, we wanna clearly give a definitive answer mm-hmm. on why you should really become a certified right. business. You know, you, you need to use the tools that's been out set out there in front of you to gain access to some of these contracts. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, right. it didn't say it gains access to capital. Mm-hmm. It says it gains access to contracts. Right. And that's what you're trying to do with your business. So cost, hmm, <laughs> let's go. I know Vanessa's is free, free. <laughs> but I know Constance is not free. So the value. The value Ooh, value okay, that okay. Bring. Jesse, here we go. Resource. Right. I'm going to be like my, my, my partner, Jesse McRae. Um, so um, what does it cost me? <laughs> value. You think of it in terms of value. Okay. But I, I, I want to know as, right. a, as a minority <laughs> business, uh, Constance, uh, how much uh, does that cost me? Because this is my bottom line. 
you know, my top line revenue is X, but I need to pay how much? <laughs> it really is indicative of how much your gross receipts are. Okay, so, so y'all going after gross now? Yeah, we're, we go after gross receipts, and it's depending on how much you're grossing, does it determine um, what level or class you have okay. and what you pay for certification fees. So the minimum you'll pay is two fifty. Okay. And the maximum you'll pay is eight hundred dollars. So so break down the classes one, class one, class two, class three, class four. So class one is if you make under a million and okay. that's two fifty. Class two is a million to ten million. Okay. And that's four hundred. Class three. Y'all better be writing this down. <laughs> <laughs> class three is ten million to fifty million. And that's six fifty, and class four is over fifty million, and okay. that's eight hundred dollars. So all y'all who making over fifty million, eight hundred bucks, really? Y'all better quit tripping. Let's go ahead, <laughs> go and get that certification. Quit playing. <laughs> y'all need to quit playing. Go on and get them certifications. Let's get this thing going. Let's add value to NMSDC. Let's add value to the government with a them. Just go get certified. Absolutely. It's not really that painful, right? It's not that painful. You know, all you got to do is go out there, get certified, mm -hmm. you know, and it gives you time to put all of your, your back office paperwork in yeah, place, absolutely. too. You know, because all the things that you need to basically have, what are some of the things, you your, your requirements to be certified? What are the requirements to be certified? So we got two minutes to kind of get through this in, then we're going to come back to this. Okay. But, you know, basically, um, your requirement uh, from NMSDC, you need to have what? So we require for the business to actually be operational. So that would mean that you have, um, you could demonstrate that you are actively seeking business mm -hmm. or you have been. As a startup? As a, as a startup. startup. Okay. As a gotcha, startup. Gotcha. So you need a balance sheet. You need an income statement. You need tax returns. Uh, you have to have, depending on your legal structure. The, well, see, I'm a startup. I don't have tax returns yet. Then we request your personal tax return. Okay, so you want my personal. So that's when everybody gets scared, right? But that's <laughs> a, my personal tax return, really? Yeah, yeah so let's okay. talk about that a little bit okay. because people get scared when you ask them for their personal information. Right. But understand that we have to make sure that you have some kind of financial solvency to start a business. Right, okay. Right, that you That's just fair. didn't all of a sudden That's come fair. out the sky and say, I'm starting this business, but I have no income that has right, been able to right, fund this business. Right, right, right. That's fair. That's fair. So, look, we're going to, like, put a little pin in that statement. Right. We're going to come back with KYND Radio with PIN Global News, 832-230-5592. And Terrence still got me on the air. You got me, T? That inspires change. The Powerful 1520. In a world where the divorce rate is at an all-time high, we're here to offer you real-life relationship advice to help you navigate to and through your marriage. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour with our new show, Sitting, Sitting with, with the, the Suttons. Suttons, where we're all about strengthening our community by, by making, making marriage, marriage great, great again. again. Find us on Facebook at Tristan and Cece. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour. Sitting, Sitting with, with the, the Suttons. Suttons. Sitting with the Suttons. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on 1520 KYND. For actress, radio host, and mother, please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out here, girl. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, talk about. radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself, come on now, uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV. We are back together. 
full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman, host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold moves that transform their lives. We are creating a community of game changers. Listen in each week and let's help you unleash the power within. Bold talk, bold impact, bold transformation. Be sure to connect with me at www.livesuperbold.com. Super Bowl Live with Nicole R. Coleman. Tuesdays, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1520 KYND. The power is here. KYND brings you star power. Yolanda Adams. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? Les Brown on KYND. You have something special. That's my story that I'm sticking to. Rashawn McDonald. Show some love. Show some love. We're trying to make it sound big up in this joint. Access the power at KYNDRadio.com. We are so excited at KYND to have back the hit show, Do What I Say, featuring Dr. Polly Heil Neely. Doc, tell them a little bit about what you do. Yeah, we're a holistic healthcare clinic. We do everything. Welcome back to KYND Radio, Pan Global News. Please go out and visit us at www.playbookinvestors.com with an S network.com playbook investors network.com KYND radio PN global news. You need to call in and talk to Constance or Vanessa or myself, 832-230-5592. That's 832-230-5592. I'm enjoying myself with Constance Vanessa because man, this is uh, getting a little deep here, you know, call structure of what you need to do as far as getting in as a, Minority business gets certified and then also a free cost, <laughs> you know, to Vanessa to get in and get certified from the government side. So it's like all you got to do is just do it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Just That's do the it. First step. You yeah. know, get out of your house, get out of your office, you know, get out of wherever you're working at, go get certified, mm-hmm. right? Right. So <laughs> we were talking about a little bit of the requirements mm-hmm. for a certification. So on the government side, so some of the requirements for the government people to actually get certified are what, though, Vanessa? Okay, so for the city's program, uh, because the city has its own individual program, Mm -hmm. um, our requirements are you must be at least 51% owned, managed, and controlled by Mm -hmm. a minority, a female, person with disability, or we also have a small business program. Okay. Uh, You must be in our county area to get certified with the city of Houston. So we uh, have Harris and the nine surrounding counties. So they need to be within the county. In our county area. Okay. Yes, okay. Now that makes sense. You yeah. you need to be in the county to get right. certified. Yeah. You know? So what if somebody comes up like myself from Dallas mm-hmm. and I'm trying to get certified with you? You must have a significant business presence. So your headquarters could be in Dallas. But we okay. need to make sure that you are operating in Harris or one of our nine surrounding counties with a uh, business presence. So okay. one locally based employee. Uh, office space. So I need to have an office space here in Houston? Um, not necessarily an office space. Uh, okay. You can have an office. Uh, we do um, certify home-based businesses. Okay. So, okay. But the requirement is at least one locally-based employee. Okay. That's the key, right? Yes. So you need to have that one employee on your payroll. At least to... one locally-based employee. And Harrison, Man, one we, in the nine surrounding We're going to figure out some things here today. We're going to definitely learn how to create some real business okay. opportunities here, right? So you got to have one person on your payroll. At least one locally-based employee. You know, no matter if you from, and I'm playing devil's advocate a little bit, so the listening artist can get a feel, or the looking artist can get a feel for what we're saying. <laughs> if I'm in Philly, or I'm in New York, or I'm in L.A., and I really want to do business in Houston. Right. I need to get one person on my payroll. Well. Kind of, sort of. No, maybe. What I can say is you must have one locally based employee. So okay. no one in our I'm office. I'm trying to can, get the secret sauce, y'all. There you go. <laughs> There's no one in our office that can actually help you set up to get certified. But right, what right. we can do is give you the requirements. Okay. And so, uh, and one of the requirements is that you have local presence in our county area. Okay. You must be a small business. Uh, right. So depending on what you're doing, we have to look at the SBA side standards. Okay. Uh, to determine that. Uh, and you must be independent. Currently functioning, which means you've invoiced them and paid for your services. Okay. Yes, sir. And that's that's the key. So you need to have invoiced 
And pay for the service. And pay, yes. Okay, okay. And so when you go to our online application or open up our hard copy, there's eligibility checklist questions, and you'll see uh, most, well, the major components of certification in question form to let you know if you're eligible to start that uh, application. Okay, yeah. okay. That's fair. I mean, we, man, I'm telling y'all, you, I hope y'all <laughs> listen today. <laughs> I hope you're listening. I hope you're taking notes. Uh, if you need to call in and, and ask Vanessa a question, 832-230-5592, or ask Constance a question from NMSDC, Houston Minority Business Council, 832-230-5592. So, Constance, you know, Vanessa done broke hers down. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a call structure to yours, which we talked about. We went through the, the four classes. Yeah, you know, one, two, three, and four, and which is not a bad fee, even if you're fifty million or you one million. Right. You know, one million at two fifty to get your business certified that potentially could possibly give you a contract that was two hundred and fifty thousand. That's correct. <laughs> right? That's correct. <laughs> and you could use other resources that right. we have in order to help you grow okay. and develop your right. business. So as you were talking about those finances, we have financial programs in place that really helps you get some of that lending and funding. And then we have a scholarship program where we'll actually pay the entrepreneur to go to anything educational and developmental on behalf of their firm up to $5,000. So you pay two fifty, dollars and you can get back $5,000. <laughs> so so I, I don't, hold on, that doesn't even sound right. You, you got a scholarship program. Yep. For someone to take advantage of, right. to go and get five thousand dollars for, and you just pay two fifty. That's it. So why isn't everybody doing this? Do y'all have that many scholarships? Because <laughs> I think we don't want to flood the gates right now. Right. <laughs> we, let me. Because if you're smart, you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this right that, now. That's right. <laughs> right? That's right. We've awarded over one point five million dollars in scholarships. Wow! Um, wow, that's awesome. So, yeah. That's awesome. So we have money. Wow, $1.5 million, and we're complaining about practice or not getting our paperwork done. Really? Come on now. That's, that don't make any sense. Yeah. That, that's kind of mind-boggling right there that you have that, and it's accessible for people to utilize this. So, listeners, listen. Call Vanessa. Call Constance. <laughs> <laughs> Go get certified soon. I mean, if you have a business and mm -hmm. it's a good business and you want to scale or grow your business, mm -hmm. it's not going to hurt you to go get certified. No, no, no. You know, at all. And we always tell our applicants, uh, don't just think city of Houston. There's other agencies that accept the city's certification. So if right. you plan on doing business with HISD, with the Port of Houston, with Metro, they accept our certifications a lot. So we tell you, come on down. It's, it, we're free. Right. Constance, but we're free. Yeah, so yeah. we just need you to do the legwork. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to sit back. Uh, yeah, uh, Vanessa, tell again. Uh, we are free. Okay. So Vanessa telling Constance, they're free. Girl, we free over here. There is zero charge to processing your certification. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, so I know that people struggle. You know, uh, us as small businesses or minority business, we struggle and trying to understand. So if I need some assistance or I need help just filling out my paperwork, right. You know, where where do I get that from? Well, we have a hotline number set up Okay. for OBO. And so you can actually reach every area of OBO with one phone number, and that's 832-393-0600. Okay, you might want to get that to them again. They might, hey, write this number down. <laughs> write it down. Hotline, <laughs> hotline. 832-393-0600. And when you're looking for certification, you always want to hit option one. Okay. And anyone there can answer any certification questions. And I talked about that pre-certification workshop that we do live every Thursday, but it's recorded online. So just go to YouTube. You'll find us there on YouTube. You know, we had that conversation uh, most recently. I, we were uh, in Orlando with uh, Tracy. Tracy's going to the Hall of Fame. So, again, we congratulate Tracy on being accepted to the Hall of Fame yes, this right year. Uh, but being down in Orlando, well, in his hometown, I'm sorry, in Arbondale, Florida, he had a an entrepreneurship conference, uh, Chalk Talk, you know, by entrepreneurs. Because this is an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. this is an entrepreneur society, period. It's, right. You know, our kids are going to be entrepreneurs and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But long and short of it is um, he was talking about some things that he's trying to do, mm -hmm. you know, but a lot of these startup kids don't know where to go, Okay. you know, to, to even think about 
being a entrepreneur company mm-hmm. and a certified business mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So he was trying to expound on that and, and, you know, reference to what we're talking about now, because if you do have a business, like you said, you know, Constance, you're going to have to show your personal finances. Right. right. You know, and I think a lot of entrepreneur kids don't really understand what that means. Right. You know, so that's, that's some gray area there because they're like, well, okay, I've really got this business that I really want to do, and they're more tech mm-hmm. than anything now. Right. You guys, ladies, got kids. We know the kids do yeah. everything tech. Yeah. I mean, they show you I said it all, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> do everything. Oh, what's your, what's your Facebook? <laughs> Dad, you know, okay. But, I, I mean, you know, they don't, the, the startup community is still kind of baffled and okay. what they need to do, whether they need to become, you know, a government business and try to get in or they need to become, you know, a minority business, okay. you know, that kind of stuff. So it's um, a lot of education. Yes, yes, it is. A lot of education. It is. Uh, Constance, seemed like you had something to say about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so from the private sector standpoint, we also have some of those same resources that Vanessa mentioned. Mm-hmm. We have a wonderful staff that um, can actually walk you through the process and help explain some of that documentation if you're confused. So all you have to do is call our office at 713-271-7805. One more time Again, now. That's 713 271 and we'll be able to assist you with any part of that process. Um, But, again, there's other organizations. So I do, I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout-out to the University of Houston Small Business Development Center. University of Houston? University of Houston Small Business Development Center. Okay, okay. And they operate something that's called the Procurement and Technical Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a free service that actually everybody has already paid for during their tax dollars that you can go get professional consulting on where to start. Right, right. I, I have this idea. They have a business librarian that is wonderful mm-hmm. okay, and helping okay. doing feasibility studies and logistics. And then you have consultants that are on staff who right. can help you say, all right, you really need to concentrate here. Let me help you get these government certifications. And, oh, by the way, private sector looks great for you. Mm-hmm. Then wow. we'll also help you with that. Right. And so. If you don't know where to go and you're just kind of confused right. and like, I need, I need some help. <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> right. I, I, I need some I help need before help. I get to right, practice. Right. Right. <laughs> I need help. All right. <laughs> you can definitely go help. there. We're going to come back. KYND Radio, PIN, Global News, 832-230-5592. world where the divorce rate is at an all-time high, we're here to offer you real-life relationship advice to help you navigate to and through your marriage. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour with our new show, Sitting Sitting with with the the Suttons, Suttons, where we're all about strengthening our community by by making making marriage great great again. again. Find us on Facebook at Tristan and Cece. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour. Sitting Sitting with with the the Suttons. Suttons. Sitting with the Suttons. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on 1520 KYND. This is actress, radio host, and mother. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out there, girl. <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, talk about. radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself, come on now, uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV. We are back together, full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold. Welcome back to KYND Radio, Penn Global News. 832-230-5592. In the house today, Miss Vanessa and Miss Constance giving up some valuable, valuable, valuable information that you should utilize 
to go get certified. Whether you're getting certified with the city or you're getting certified with NMSDC, it's, it's very important that you utilize these tools. And also talking about entrepreneurship and startup you know, businesses, that there are so many resources and tools out here in the marketplace for you to utilize. And, you know, Constance was just explaining, you know, the University of Houston. Mm-hmm. Small business The development. small business development. Man, I mean, this, there's so many opportunities for for you as an entrepreneur, you know, male or female, and you got a business that mm-hmm. you can do some things and create some opportunities for yourself and right, your family. Right, mm-hmm. right. So even at OBO, we have an Office of Business Opportunity. We have the uh, OBO Solutions Center. So uh, it's not as detailed as you would get from the mm-hmm. U of A Small Business Development Center. But if you need information on starting or the difference between sole proprietorships, where to file your DBA, um, how to get in touch with the Secretary of State, the LLC versus corporation. We have a little bit of that information in our office. Right. We also offer, uh, offer SCORE counseling. Okay. And, okay. and uh, LIFT Fund. The LIFT Fund. So, so, there you go. <laughs> okay, okay. So the LIFT Fund is... Small uh, business loans. Right, okay. Yes, sir. Right. That's, so we actually have a rep in the office on Thursdays that you can show up and talk to if you need to, if you want some information. On Thursdays. On Thursdays. The same I time mean, we do our workshops. <laughs> uh, the, the, the workshops are from what to what? The workshop is from 2 to 4. We ask you to, to be there uh, 145 so we can get started at 2 okay. and get you out of there as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, that LIFT Fund and SCORE Council is there. Uh, you can make an appointment. Mm-hmm. We do ask you to make an appointment, but if you don't and you they're not business, in. you can walk in. If they're so not business, I, they'll talk so, to you. So how many people actually show up sometimes for this? So our workshops? Yeah. Oh, we get dependent on the project. Because really? if HISD puts something out there, we can get a room a, a room full of people mm-hmm. just standing around. <laughs> okay. Because okay. they know that certification will get them uh, something in H- with HISD. Okay. So yeah. somebody's listening. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure somebody listens. Right? <laughs> you know, come on now. <laughs> You can go out there and, and get some opportunity. That's that's what it's all about. It's really about the big O, you okay. know, the opportunity. You know, and you got to get some paperwork in place. You got to do the, the processing of what's being required of you from the city. Right. Or whether it be from NMSCC, you just got to get it right. Yeah. You know, just getting this right so that at least gives you an opportunity okay. to get a contract. Right. Scale your business, grow your business, and, and who knows? You might be bigger than Warren Buffett one day, you know, which <laughs> no, could, happen, could happen, which is what we're all about anyway. There you go. <laughs> right. You know, we, we, we're trying to really change this game, for real. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why we're doing what we do, and that's why you guys, you ladies, have been in the game for a long time, you know, trying to do what you do. Right. You know, it's commended. So we know we're about, about the certification process. So some of the things that was asked, okay, what's the difference between the DBE certification mm-hmm. and the MBE certification. Okay. So I don't want to flip a coin, but who else want to take it first? <laughs> but the DBE side from the MBE side, and both maybe that's a collaboration of both, both of y'all that kind of explain about what's the difference. Well, DBE, again, is a DBE is the federal program. So there's federally funded contracts. Mm-hmm. A DBE would be in every state. So if you are, let's say, a DB certified firm here in Texas and you wish to do work in New Orleans, then you must first get certified in your home state before you get that DBE certification in any other state. So I, I think that needs to be clear, though, right, for, for everybody. So you just need to get your DBE certification in Houston if you're here. Right. Get it in your home you know, state before you start applying state. everywhere else. Right. right. Before you but, go out here and start applying everywhere, right. you know, because, you know, we want to do that sometimes, <laughs> right, Constant Vanessa? Right. So just get certified in your home state first. Right. And then go out and do the things you need to do. Right. So you may have opportunities to do work in, in any other state, but you need to get it in your home state first. And that's one of the, the biggest things with the DBE program. This is federally funded contracts, so you don't just think local. Right. For the city of Houston's program, however, that is your local certification. So it is for city-funded projects and then the agencies that accept our certification. Okay, okay. So that's one big difference. Major difference. Yeah. <laughs> Donce, you want to add to that on the MBE side? Yes. And so for MBE through the NMSDC, it is a national private sector certification. So you certify where your company is headquartered, but it allows you to do business across the network with any major corporation. Right. So if your headquarters is, let's say, Houston or for you, Rodney, Dallas. Um, oh, she tried to throw that out She's throwing it in there. Are you Rodney, <laughs> Dallas? Dallas, you know, okay, okay. 
Oh, I'm in all 50 states. What? <laughs> we, we in all 50 states, Constance. Don't get it twisted now. <laughs> in all 50 states, so with one certification, you can do business in all 50 states. Right, okay. And so that's really the major difference is that we are a national private. So right. you don't have to have brick and mortar um, in any in every, in, in every state. Right, right. And you can actually take one certification and do business across our network. Right, because I remember at one point when – I guess 17 years ago when I first got certified, it used to be that you need to take out certification in every state you actually operate in. You guys did away with all that. So, kind of. sort of. Kind of, sort of. So, if you, the example you gave earlier about a firm in Philly and they want to come to Houston. Right. If they have relationships in Houston, okay. then they could use their certification that they already had in Philly in order to do business with our corporate members. Okay, okay. But if they wanted to utilize our resources mm-hmm. and they wanted to gain access to our corporate members and have us do some consulting for them or um, facilitate interdu- introductions, mm-hmm. come to our events and stuff like that, mm-hmm. then they would have to join us locally. To take out a cert with you guys. Right. Okay. And it's not so, really a certification. So the, it's uh, just a subscription. Subscription. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. So we got a call on the line. Mr. Eaglin, is that right? That's right. How you doing, sir? Okay, how are you? I'm wonderful. Wonderful. Miss Vanessa and Miss Constance in here. I gotta be okay. <laughs> what's your what's your question, sir? I didn't I was just listening to the to the programs. I didn't have a question. Okay. You just listen to the program, huh? You getting a little information that's helping you out a little bit? I know who that is. Uh, hey Uncle Tony. <laughs> You should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Uncle Tony calling here, right? <laughs> I, hear, I hear his voice. <laughs> so, so you checking on her? She she's doing her thing. She's a subject matter expert in what she's doing, <laughs> Mr. Uncle Tony. <laughs> well, we appreciate you listening, Uncle Tony. So uh, okay. thank you so much for calling in, though. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got Uncle Tony listening to the show. Uh-huh. <laughs> Check it out. That's your, 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 your his niece, you know. I am his niece. Making sure that, okay, is she at that show doing what she put Right, I showed up to work today. I did. <laughs> so, Check that box. I'm going to work today. I'm like, okay, Vanessa, you better be checking these boxes. <laughs> Don't miss practice. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Don't miss practice, Uncle T. Know where you at, girl? That's right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, okay. So once, uh, and, and we talked about this too. Once you're certified, it doesn't guarantee your contract. Right. That, right. That's you know, that was some of the questions that everybody was asking. So once I get certified, does that mean I'm gonna get a contract? No. You you have to work. That's you, right. You, you, work. you have to work. You do this thing. You got to show up to practice. You got to right. show up and go get contract mm-hmm. right and that means you got to start to cultivate these relationships yeah, and, you, you go. and you really need to be in line with the subject matter expert in vanessa you know with the city and constance with nmscc h uh hmscc so you you just need a network yeah you do. need to right. show up and we, functions. we put up those events yes. Right. yes you got events we you know yeah. you, you got events mm-hmm. You got trade shows right. you mm-hmm. got corporate outings you got hard hats you got marketing mm-hmm. meetings mm-hmm. right you know, you got places where you can go and get other uh, other services. Right, right. You know, you got Houston, University of Houston to go. Yep, right. I mean, and I guess the list goes on and on and on and on. Right. You have all these resources, mm-hmm. and all you have to do is utilize those resources. There you go. Right. Wow, that's <laughs> that's just something else. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. Right. So they said, well, how do entrepreneurs get connected to the, the government entities and the major corporations, you know, that's always the same question. Right. That comes back. Well, how do I get connected? I just told you, show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? But I'm, I'm going to let the subject matter expert tell you how you get connected to that. All right, Ms. Constance? Yeah, so we get that all the time. And, and what we also get is that I don't want to meet with the gatekeeper. I want to meet with the people that make the decision. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I don't want to meet with you. Who make a decision to give me a contract? Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> We get that all the time. And so what what I would like to tell listeners about that is that you never know who the decision maker is. Right. Because buying and purchasing changes so rapidly within corporate America. It used to be one buyer that bought a commodity or service. Mm-hmm. Now they're buying teams. Mm-hmm. And so not only do you need to meet the team, you need to meet the individuals that's going to get you through the team and really can advocate on your behalf. 
And so throughout the NMSDC network, you have um, a, a corporate services person within the organization who really can assist you with connecting you to those decision makers mm -hmm. and connecting you to the corporation you're interested in doing business with. But you have to show up, like mm -hmm. you said. Yeah, you you, you have show to show up and prove that you are willing to go to lengths in order to get right. access to the people. Right. And, and you know, uh, and Constance is so 100% right. You know, Vanessa, you're 100% right. And, and I'm going to have to, you know, do my part. And I got trained, you know, through Toyota, working with them for a long time and teaching me what I had to do, how I had to scale, why it was important to get mm -hmm. certified. Mm -hmm. Because I remember one day them telling me that, hey, Rodney, we might not be able to pay you the ones you get certified. It was very important to us, right? Yeah, we get that a lot. But when I come back, <laughs> when, no, no, when we come back from the break, I definitely want to expound on some things that one of my mentors, John Munson, who worked at Toyota, oh, who's, yeah. Mason, who's at Nad Macy's, mm -hmm. he's sharing some, some thoughts with us that we need to talk about to the listening audience. So we'll be, when we come back at KYND Radio, PN Global News, we're going to talk about what John Munson has to say. Thank you. Elevate your week with me, Zakia Larry of Zakia Larry Live, every Monday at 10 a.m. on KYND 1520 a.m. In a world where the divorce rate is at an all-time high, we're here to offer you real-life relationship advice to help you navigate to and through your marriage. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour with our new show, Sitting, Sitting with, with the, the Suttons, Suttons, where we're all about strengthening our community by, by making, making marriage, marriage great, great again. again. Find us on Facebook at Tristan and Cece. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour. Sitting, Sitting with, with the Suttons. Suttons. Sitting with the Suttons. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on 1520 KYND. For actress, radio host, and mother, please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, talk about radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself, come on now, uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV. We are back together, full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold moves that transform their lives. We are creating a community of game changers. Listen in each week, and let's help you unleash the power within. Bold talk, bold impact, bold transformation. Be sure to connect with me at WW Cypress Houston, a Synergy Broadcasting Company. KQQB, Stockdale, San Antonio. Talk that inspires change. Music that revives memories. The Powerful 1520. Welcome back to KYND Radio in Global News. 832. Two three zero five five nine two. When we just left off just a little bit ago, I, I, I got a message from one of my mentors who uh, taught me a lot while I was working with Toyota, and I was telling uh, Constance and Vanessa about it, but John Munson, who also now is at, at Macy's, and here's some of John's thoughts. So certification is critical to success and sustainability of minority business for a few reasons. It legitimizes the business which you ultimately grow, community markets throughout the country. 
So that's really important. You, you got to understand that. And the key, okay, hold on here, John. I'm sorry. The key to the game is access. I mean, you, you need to have access, and that's the key to the game. I mean, that's really the key to the game. You know, business want opportunities, so access to key organizations and procurement leaders allows you an opportunity to compete for contracts. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Well, we got some hey man up in here, John. <laughs> yes. We got some hey man up in here. For corporate contracts, the relationships that you build with corporate supply diversity practitioners is the key to your success. So you got to build these relationship with the John Munsons mm-hmm. and the diversity managers, you know, at, at these major corporations, right. Exxon and, right. you know, Frito-Lay, Pepsi. Right. Uh, I mean, you got to build your relationships, period, throughout, you know, with the councils, you know. That's how they the, advocate the, on your behalf. Right. So they're a valuable piece. They're a va- very valuable piece of the puzzle. Their, ent- their entire job is to help you, the minority business, to grow and scale, but you need to help them in order to do it. Help them by bringing solutions to your company's business first. So help them by bringing solutions to the company's business problem first. Understand the organization that you are trying to do to gain business. with. Now, we've seen this a thousand times over. We've had some Q&A in here about that, too. <laughs> you got to understand who you're trying to work yes, with. Right? Right? Yes. Right? Hello? Yes. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to understand who you're trying to work with. Collaborate and engage on joint strategies, yes. you know, so that you can have some success. Right. And, you know, remember the need. Remember they need you as much as you need them mm-hmm. to get big wins for the company. Yes. John Munson, thank you so much very very much, my brother. Shouts out to Jay Mack. Yes. <laughs> John. But anyway, I, I mean, you know, John is right. Yes. We just got through talking about all this, and this is why it's important. You you got to know when you go to a company, you got to know who they are. Right. Yes. You got to engage. You got to cultivate the relationship. You know, you got to do all those things. All the things I was taught anyway. Right. So that's, right. that's how I got here. So, right. But I don't think. Some people understand that you got to know a business. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> when I first came into this uh, organization, I used to hear people all the time go up to a major corporation and say, hi, my name is John, and I sell bricks. What do you do? Right. And I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> right? And so as a result of that, we start creating programs to really help firms know how to prepare for that. You right. Know? So I think that's one of the biggest mistakes we as entrepreneurs, period. doesn't matter if you're minority or not. As an entrepreneur, we want to be everything to everybody. Yeah. When, in fact, we can't at the moment. Right. Okay. And so we need to do what we do exceptionally well. Yep. This is where I put my stake in the ground. This is what I know I can perform and mm-hmm. what I can do. And know how that translates to what you need to do within a major corporation. Right, right. And then if the corporate member tells you or or your particular client tells you you're too small, then go out and look for strategic alliances or joint ventures to grow your capacity until you get large enough to be able to compete for the business directly. That's the scary part for a lot of minority businesses. That Like, okay, so Constance, you're telling me to go out and – partner with somebody else to do what I do. Yeah, absolutely. So why am I going to do that? Because they might take my business. See, and we have to get over that. Right. Right. We, right. we have to understand. Yeah, no, I'm playing devil. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But we have okay. to get over that <laughs> mindset and say that I'm secure and can protect myself enough to know that when I'm going out here and meeting with somebody, I'm not telling you that you should partner up with the first person that you meet. Mm-hmm. You should interview them. It's just kind of like courting in a marriage, court. right? I you, like you that. Court. <laughs> let's court. Right? Let's court. Let's <laughs> right, see if this right. thing going to work before right. we actually right. um, compete for this business. Absolutely. Because if you really look at it from the big scheme of things and you look at it from a business perspective, mm-hmm. getting some dollars is better than getting none at all. I, so I, if you're too small. I think people need to recognize that, though. That's, a, that's, that's still a challenge, mm-hmm. you know, to, to recognize that you're getting something. Yes. And that gives you still the ability to kind of scale and grow. Absolutely. You know, and I know it's organic, you know, and we talk about the capital play quite a bit, but today's show is about certifications Mm -hmm. and why and why you need to be certified. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to go to the city and get certified and get all six free certifications? (laughs) 
Oh my God! Right? Get right. all six. <laughs> If you got 10, I'm coming to get you. Right? <laughs> oh, we tell you, if you believe you're eligible for all Absolutely. six of them, put in those applications and let us process them. We can do that all at the same time. It's, it's just mind-boggling. You know, and I, I know I'm a strong advocate for it. You know, I, I had good, you know, leadership, good guidance, and I, I used what I could to, mm-hmm. to get to where we are today. But it's like it's not that complicated. And we make it complicated. We do. We do. We do make it complicated. And mm-hmm. I... And I'm thinking, oh, maybe we will inspire some people to just do it. Just right. go get it done. Make it work for yourself. Make it work for your company. Make it work for your family. Make it work for your yeah. investors. Right. So you know. anyone coming to our floor will mm-hmm. see a, a bunch of success stories so of minority women and small businesses that have grown through the program and, and reached their goals and created new goals. So. Uh, anyone that's tours our f- entire floor would see that. But then on the seventh floor, seventh floor, <laughs> six eleven Walker. There you go. As soon as you step out the elevator, you're met with a few, and you hit see, the hallway. Man, we got a team going on here, right? Six eleven Walker, seventh floor, seventh floor. <laughs> but I, I would need to also want to tell you guys that under Mayor Parker's administration, over one billion dollars was awarded to small minority and women-owned businesses. So it's not like the program is not working. Did I hear in your, one billion? One billion. Like B? Would it be right? Over one billion. Okay. Over one billion. Did y'all hear that? Over one billion. Yes. <laughs> Come on now. So the program some of y'all is gonna working. got some of that one billion. There you go. Uh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm I'm trying to say, okay, look, get out the office or the house or wherever you're working. Go get part of that mm-hmm. one billion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Go get it. There you go. Yes. Oh, well, you we're know, not slowing down. I'm about champion. I'm a champion. <laughs> I'm gonna inspire you. I'm gonna do everything I can to get you out there to go get some of this money. We are there to help you to do whatever you Right. Want to or think you need to do to advance your businesses. So the OPO solution team, the certification team, we're there to answer any questions. Got that hotline number in place for you, right? And you just reach out to us, complete those applications. We take you through that audit process, and basically we're telling you if you're certified that we deemed you as a legitimately owned, managed, and controlled minority women small business, and you can market that. Is there anything to be embarrassed about because you don't really have all of your stuff together? No, 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 no. So when I came into minority business development, I didn't even know what it was. What it was. This, like, what? Uh, what is this? Uh, I got a story for right? you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? Right. I, I told you, Toyota said, well, Rodney, um, we're not going to be able to pay you any more money until you get certified. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, I'm, y'all got to know me a little bit today. I'm <laughs> kind of right. silly, having fun right. a little bit. Stop with but I was like... <laughs> You're not going to be able to pay me no more. Well, I said, Rodney, you need to be certified. And I was like, okay. Um, Look at me. I'm black. <laughs> I'm African American. I got my NAACP card. I got my NAACP. As, as a matter of fact, I'm a lifetime member. That's right. So you telling me I'm not minority? Uh, they said, Rodney, you're silly. Go get certified, right. please. Right. Go to your local council. Mm-hmm. And get certified. That's all right. Do and that's when do. I, and I still didn't do it right the first time. I went to, um, uh, I know LaRon's going to kill me, but uh, I went to CSTRA, well, oh, Central N- Texas. N- N- NCTRA. I'm sorry, LaRon, the <laughs> NCTRA, because, you know, she worked and she worked with me now. So. Okay. <laughs> so she always tell me, I get those acronyms mixed up. But I went to that first. And it was like, no, we don't accept that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. What do I need to do? You, do? you need to go to your National Minority Supply mm-hmm. Development Council and get certified. Right. And I was like, okay, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to turn to Constance. Like, tell everybody what that is again. <laughs> National Minority Supply Development Council. What is that, Constance? So that is the national organization that governs our certification. They are the national private sector certification entity. There's 23 regional affiliates throughout the U.S. Um, and we also cover Hawaii and Alaska. Uh, and See, we're going to holler in Hawaii. <laughs> Get certified from Hawaii. And we can still certify <laughs> right. you from Hawaii, right? We're going to certify you from Hawaii. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But it's just like you don't know. I mean, Absolutely. you know, what right. you don't Absolutely. know, and we exactly. always say this, you know, and the fellows say this in the office, D&D, what you don't know, you just don't know. Right. That's you right. know, and, and all we're trying to do is be a voice mm-hmm. to to tell you what it is that 
you don't know, and then we're trying to give you answers and give you solutions and give you opportunities and give you resources so that you can go do these things. Right. You know, get certified as a minority business, get certified as a city or government business. It, it's, it seems difficult, but it's really not. Right. If we really want right. to scale or get the opportunities that, you know, Vanessa has presented or Constant has presented, we got to do these things. That, right. It's not going right. to hurt us. I mean, right. It can you know, only help. It, right. Help yeah. in a way that you might get a new contract. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or you might get a part of that $1 billion. As a matter of fact, talking about spend. So, Constance, and it, you may know this answer, but you guys bring an economic impact to the state of, I mean, to the city of Houston. Yes, and actually it's to the state of Texas. So, okay. the, the I three didn't of us, there, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So, what we do uh, collectively, so um, collectively, every other year, the three councils in the state of Texas. Okay. So, Margo, Margo with Dallas, and Karen Box, Box with... Uh, Central South, South Texas. Okay, right. Um, we, hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. This is Margo. <laughs> hey, Margo. Uh, <laughs> we actually look at the total impact that we bring across the state okay. to um, in minority business development. And just focusing on our minority businesses, they pay over um, $500 billion mm-hmm. in taxes and resources and, um, uh, and, and revenues to the state, right. to employees. And so that's a big economic impact. I mean, $500 billion is a huge impact. And that's just from our minority businesses that and are that's certified. Three the three count in Texas. And that's not even Vanessa. That's right. not even Vanessa. Right. That's right. <laughs> that's not everything else outside of Vanessa. There you go. That's, that's right. not everything that's else outside right. of Constance. Mm-hmm. That's, that's right. just NMSCC, the three organizations, you know, the Houston Council, the Dallas Council, and, and Karen down in uh, southwest Texas. Right, right. That's three councils at five hundred billion. Right, right. That's so a lot I, of impact. I want all these investors to understand this minority business community thing ain't no joke. That's no, right, right. No. right. It's a huge impact. Absolutely. Right, you know that there's a whole lot of returns happening to somebody. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, you know, we still struggling as minority business gain access to the capital too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But this is good for them to understand that you are talking about five hundred billion impact just in Texas. Right. Just in Texas. Man, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So any events that you ladies have coming up? Yeah. You know, so I know Vanessa, she pulled out that phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Rodney. I, I, got, yeah. I got my events right here. Well, <laughs> because we talked about networking and, and, and introducing you to the people that can, uh, that would put out the contracts or need your services. So okay. what we do with OBO is we put together Meet the Buyers is every December. You do have to register in November, but we put the... Uh, city departments and yeah. community partners uh, in uh, different ballrooms in the George Brown and have you that register come in, shake hands, and say these are the services that I offer. So your buyers actually come out yes. to the events. Yes. Now that's awesome because I mean I'm in the game, so I know that mm-hmm. you know. But to get your buyers to come out, yes, yes. that's making the decisions to go. give you a contract. Right. Come shake hands. Right? Come put. Say my name is. Hey, this is what I do. This is my and you already know what they do. It is there. We give you a right. sign and say it's the it be, be line this way. If you want to see someone at HISD, you need to go to this next room okay. here. Okay. So we're doing that every December. Uh, registration is in November. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple of things we also offer is a virtual legal lab. Okay. So for small businesses with any legal questions, that virtual legal lab is set up on our conference in our conference room at six eleven Walk on the seventh floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, we partner with Vincent and Elkins Law Firm to provide small businesses the opportunity to schedule a one-on-one Skype session uh, in that conference room with Vincent and Elkins. Uh, the next one is August 23rd from 2 August to 5. August 23rd. What, what yeah. time is that? August 23rd when? From 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. 2 to 5. 2 yes. to 5. 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Okay. And then I just need to break, uh, tell you guys about their pre-certification workshop every Thursday. Come on down and see one of our certification specialists to give you information about all different uh, certifications. Figure out which one is best for you. Maybe all six is best. All six. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just clearly going to tell you, get right. all six. Right, so what you don't want is to have an MBE in place and try to go to that airport and they say, no, you need that ACBE or DBE. Go. So get all <laughs> there six. There you go. <laughs> go to the pre-certification. Get all six certifications. And that way you ensure yourself a better opportunity than having just two. Right. So if you are right. eligible for all six, that's what you want to do. <laughs> there you go. So you should go 
see Vanessa, yes. go to pre-certification, get all six. When we come back at Penn Global News, Rodney Woods, Vanessa, um, my God, I just went blank right quick. Constance, I went <laughs> blank for a quick second. We'll be back in a moment. KYND Radio, Penn Global News. From Angleton to Austin, on the air everywhere, everywhere, the powerful 1520. For actress, radio host, and mother, please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out here, girl. <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, about radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself. Come on now. Uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV, we are back together. Full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman, host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold moves that transform their lives. We are creating a community of game changers. Listen in each week and let's help you unleash the power within. Bold talk, bold impact, bold transformation. Be sure to connect with me at www.livesuperbold.com. Super Bowl Live with Nicole R. Coleman. Tuesdays, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1520 KYND. The power is here. KYND brings you star power. Yolanda Adams. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? Les Brown on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Rashawn McDonald. Show some love. Access the power at KYNDRadio.com. We are so excited at KYND to have back the hit show, Do What I Say, featuring Dr. Polly Heil Neely. Doc, tell them a little bit about what you do. Yeah, we're a holistic healthcare clinic. We do everything holistic at Abundant Health and Wellness Clinic, and that's located at 323 East Main Street in downtown Humble, Texas. Or you can call us 281-312-2860. Tune in every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on KYND. Like having a real brain freeze we'll today. Ba- we'll put a badge on it. <laughs> I'm like, how, how can I keep doing this? Right. This I'm like, I'm, I look at Cons- I look, I look away from Cons- I'm like, and okay. you know a name. <laughs> right. I got. It. But then we I do, the, I do the same thing with uh, Damon and Doc. When Damon and Doc <laughs> are here on the show, I'll be looking at both of them, and I'll be like, okay, I'll call Doc Damon, <laughs> and I'll call Damon Doc, and I'm like, Rodney, you not really that old, <laughs> you know? So. But no, so coming back with Constance talking about the events, uh, Vanessa just shared, you know, the events that they have going on and right. what's coming up and the opportunities are there. So go get all six certifications, go to the seminars, get the free service that you need to get and get certified. So Constance also has events coming up and she's going to expound on her event. Yes. So we have a pre-certification workshop that happens in our office as well. It's the first Thursday of it's every free. month. It is free. <laughs> free. That's what you get for free. <laughs> I'm like, got some free stuff? All right. <laughs> you don't get very much free with content. You don't. You don't. <laughs> but it's the first Thursday of every month from 11 to 12, and we go over the certification application in detail. 
But what I really want to talk about is our annual expo. Okay. And HMSDC puts on Texas's largest minority business trade fair. Ooh. It's the third largest in the nation, and it's where we have governmental agencies, educational institutions, corporations, and primes right. come out and exhibit and bring their actual buyers and decision-making teams to meet with minority suppliers. Are you guys getting a lot of your buyers to, to actually show Ab- up to? Absolutely. Okay. And so what we've actually done is look at put, dividing it up between products and services Okay. so you know how to plan your day. Okay. So the day before Expo um, on September 6th, we actually partnered with the U.S. Department of Energy okay. to bring an energy summit. So we're going to talk about the nuts and bolts and what's happening in oil and gas and all kind of energy mm-hmm. utilities. Um, we're meeting with the Association of Electric Companies of Texas. Okay. They're going to come down and talk about what's going on in renewables and wind energy, solar energy. Um, so anything that you are interested in learning about as it relates to that, what's the direction of oil and gas? What new projects do they have coming mm-hmm. up in petrochemical or LNG? We are actually going to give you that information. I mean, and that's that's huge. Huge. Because then you're able to know where I fit in. Right, right. right, right and then right. you can talk to them the next day at the trade show to say, I heard what you said right. at the energy summit. Here's the strategy that I have that I think I can assist you with in, in developing your business. And you got to have patience. Absolutely. you you got to have patience. It, it doesn't mean that you met, you know, Mr. Oil and Gas or Mr. Renewable Energy mm-hmm. or Miss renewable energy that you're going to get that contract right. that day. Right. You know, you, you still got to cultivate that relationship. Absolutely. You know, demonstrate your 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 services and what you actually can do for the company. But also, and more important, like like John said earlier, know exactly what Absolutely. the company does. Right. Right. Absolutely. Right? right? Don't go in and say, well, hey, I'm company X and, you know, I, I'm here to do business with you and what do y'all do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, hello. Right. <laughs> Did you just ask me what do I do? Right. 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 <laughs> I think you're here to get a contract, right? Yeah, that's right. You're, right. you're right. here to trade. It's show. the other way. Yeah. Uh, so you need to be able to, you know, you need to be expound on what you do. Yeah. Right. And, and sometimes, and I know it's frustrating because I've been there also, that you got to have that elevator pitch. Mm-hmm. You know, it's got to be a few, like a not even a few minutes, probably one or two minutes, yeah, you know. One. one minute, right? One minute. <laughs> 60 seconds. That's right. right. Get those buzzwords out yep. there. And we tell them all the time, it's really called your value proposition, mm-hmm. right? So everybody can say what they do, but what value do you bring to me, okay. right? So what is mm. it that, why should I listen or do business with you? Well, let's, let's talk about that. I mean, let's. I mean, let's explain, because that's important. I mean, now we know that you need to get certified. Right. You definitely need to get certified and, and be able to, to grow your business through certifications right. and utilizing the service and the tools that's rendered to you from mm-hmm. Vanessa. And, you know, constant so that you do the things you need to do, at least have the opportunity, right? Yes. Right. So the frustration, okay, I got 60 seconds to tell Exxon my value proposition. Yeah. That's tough for some people. And, and knowing that is the first step. Mm-hmm. The second step is do something about it. And so we have programs that will actually assist you okay. in getting that down to 30 seconds. Okay. When 30? Oh, my God. Absolutely, 30 <laughs> See, seconds. See, gossip's a hard one. Right. Absolutely, because think <laughs> about it. I was like, okay, look, I gave you 60, but now right, 30. Right, 30 seconds. Th- think about it. When you are in front of somebody, you don't have the opportunity to say, hey, can I – follow up with you. Can I call you tomorrow to set the meeting? You want to give them enough nuggets to say, no, why don't you follow me off this it elevator and come with me? It took me eight years to build this business, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you everything in 30 seconds. I Absolutely. don't feel right. So I'm playing devil's again. I, I, can tell you, I can tell you right now, the Houston Minority, Certi- the Houston Minority Supply Development Council certified, develop, connect, and advocate. I'm done. I didn't even get a chance to give a walk. My point is exactly. Right? My point is exactly. So the what I want you to do as a result of hearing me is to say why and mm-hmm. how. Okay. And I so, want you to ask the question. So now you you have that elevator pitch. Right. You know, sixty seconds, thirty seconds, and you gotta get it down right. But you do know that there are a lot of buyers who will hear you, you know, and they still don't understand what you do. Absolutely. So sometimes we talk above everybody's head. So we, right. I love my engineers. 
And I love my IT okay. people yep. who start talking about, well, I, I build the XJ9000, 3000 watts mm-hmm. to the second degree. Right. As a layman, I'm looking at you so, like, so, what, is what, what is that? <laughs> Like, what is what that? Is that? I, yeah. Right? And then if you, he had sent it to me first, I'd have Googled it. <laughs> but what you're really trying to say is, I make these headphones. Right. right? <laughs> and so we actually help you understand how to communicate to the appropriate market. Right. 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 So if you're just talking to a layman to try to understand where you fit into the organization, <laughs> your pitch is totally different from when I put you in front of the engineer right. that where you can speak that particular jargon and language. Okay. Right. And so just surrounding you with those types of tools and, and little techniques mm-hmm. really help businesses kind of grow and get right. further along. Right. And won't be so frustrated because they're like, I'm talking to somebody and their eyes are glazed over, so I don't think they're getting it. Well, then how do you change the conversation to ensure that they get it? Right. Yeah, yeah and, and you have to do that. You got to change. You, I know you had something to say, Jim. Okay. <laughs> so it's like I've done this thing for eight mm-hmm. years, mm-hmm. and I got to get in front of Boeing Airlines and get them 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, and it's tough, and I, I know it's tough because I'm going to a conference. You know, I'm going to go out to Seattle. I'm going to meet with Boeing Airlines, mm-hmm. and I'm going to get in front of one of the bars, but i got to tell them what I've done in 30 seconds. That is so tough. Right. It is. Right. Right. <laughs> so I, I'm trying to think, how can I get them to, like, talk to me longer? Right. Longer than 30 seconds. That's, the, con- that's, seconds. that's right. the goal. Absolutely. So I, I might want to see who this bar is. I, I'm, I'm looking at the corporation. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to see that they got that – DC nine and that mm-hmm. that guy there, right, or that lady there, but I gotta find something that's gonna intrigue them to, to make them want to listen to me a little bit more. So now I gotta find some value add stuff for real, right? And that's the that's the good thing about the Supply mm-hmm. Diversity Council is that we actually have those advocates that you can use as resources. Mm-hmm. So one of the nuggets that Mr. Monson gave you was understand the solution that you could bring right. to the table. There you go. So call the advocate and say, hey, what's your pain point? What's keeping you up at night? What, yeah. what, what's happening that is requiring you to look elsewhere for another service? And once they tell you that, yeah. then communicate directly to that. There mm-hmm. you go. There you go. All right, we're going to come back here for the last part of our two-hour segment with certifications at KYND Radio. We're at PN Global News, Miss Constance. Rodney Woods, Miss Vanessa. We are so excited at KYND to have back the hit show, Do What I Say, featuring Dr. Polly Heil Neely. Doc, tell them a little bit about what you do. Yeah, we're a holistic healthcare clinic. We do everything holistic at Abundant Health and Wellness Clinic, and that's located at 323 East Main Street in downtown Humble, Texas. Or you can call us 281 312 2860. Tune in every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on KYND. Zakia Larry of Zakia Larry Live every Monday at 10 a.m. on KYND 1520 a.m. In a world where the divorce rate is at an all-time high, we're here to offer you real-life relationship advice to help you navigate to and through your marriage. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour with our new show, Sitting Sitting with with the the Suttons. Suttons where we're all about strengthening our community by by making making marriage marriage great again. Find us on Facebook at Tristan and Cece. Whether you're single or married, join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for your Love Empowerment Hour, Sitting Sitting with with the the Suttons. Suttons. Sitting with the Suttons, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on 1520 KYND. This is actress, radio host, and mother. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out here, girl. Let's talk about
about the KYD radio launch and all that? Yes, talk about radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself. Come on now. Uh, Marcus D. Wiley and A.V., we are back together, full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is, like, amazing. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman, host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold moves that transform their lives. We are creating a community of game changers. Listen in each week and let's help you unleash the power within. Bold talk, bold impact, bold transformation. Be sure to connect with me at www.livesuperbold.com. Super Bowl Live with Nicole R. Coleman. Tuesdays, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1520 KYND. The power is here. KYND brings you star power. Yolanda Adams. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? Les Brown. On KYND, you have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Rashawn McDonald. Show some love. Show some love. We're trying to make it sound big up in this joint. Access the power at KYNDradio.com. We are so excited at KYND to have back the hit show, Do What I Say, featuring... Welcome back to PN Global News, KYND Radio, 832-230-5592. Man, I'm telling you, I'm thoroughly enjoying my session on certification because it's a lot of knowledge that's been, you know, spoke about to help the listening audience and the viewing audience to understand how to go get certified Mm -hmm. and go get certified and get your six certifications. (laughs) (laughs) Get your six certifications with Vanessa and and the city and the government. You have to go do these things. All the things that Vanessa is expounding on about the events and the opportunities and where you should go and what you should call. We're going to go through that one more time to make sure that you have the number to call to get certified through the city. So our hotline number again is 832-393-0600. Certification is option one. And another free service to you guys is that OBO Solution Center. They're option number two. So if you have any questions about starting a business or you want to meet with someone about that virtual legal lab or uh, score counseling or lift fund, business fund, uh, you can call that same number, hit option number two, and they'll be able to help you out. Now, that, that virtual lab, meaning in case you don't know what it means, that means you can be right there at your home doing a virtual lab. No, piece. sir. You no, still have to come go. to our office. Okay. But it is a Skype See? conference with Vincent and Elkins. Uh, so uh, they will be in their office, and you will Skype from our office. It's all set up. But, again, free service to you. Offered free service. By OBO. So we didn't want to get That's why I wanted to make sure I, I reference virtual because people think, okay, I can sit in my house and call, you know, Vanessa and do it. No. You got to go to the office. Come down, make an appointment. Come gotta, on down. Yes. Right. Make the appointment. Go, And it's okay. I don't care if you got to drive, you got to ride the bus, you got to take a lift, you got to take Uber. Mm-hmm. Go there get go. certified. Do there that you for your business. Okay. And then on your side of the fence, the number that they need to call in to talk to the council. 713-271-7805. Give it to them one more time. 713 713- Two seven one seven eight zero five. All you gotta do, just call. <laughs> you know, just call in and get certified through NMSDC. I mean, to do business in the private sector with major corporations, you know, everybody wants to do business Absolutely. with these major corporations and stuff. They want to do business with the federal government and the city and the state. Right. You just gotta go utilize the tools that's set in front right. of you right. to use. Absolutely. Paperwork, okay. Get it done. Mm-hmm. Fill out your paperwork. Get it done. Get somebody to help you. They got people to help you. Right. Got people to help, Hotline right? is in place to answer any of your questions. That workshop is there online or live to uh, answer any of your questions or um, just talk about the paperwork that we will. Because it will it will be a lot of paperwork. It's I don't a hotline, too. It's a hotline. So hotline. We'll, we'll tell you exactly what we need. I mean, we're talking about a hotline, <laughs> right? 
Right, Constance? <laughs> you know, we're talking about a hotline. hotline. Hit option one, anyone. Right. Eight to five will answer that phone and answer <laughs> any questions about certification. I just want to call the hotline. <laughs> <laughs> I want to call the hotline and get me some help. There you go. <laughs> That's what I want to do. But I'm going to get my sixth certification, though. That's right. Okay. I, I guarantee you. And put them to use. Yes. Absolutely. I, I'm not getting two. I'm getting six. There you go. All six. <laughs> it ain't going to hurt me to get six certification. No. I no. utilize it where I can. Yeah. Right? No. Right. Then I'm going to come to enemy. So speaking of, you know, Houston Minority Council, now you ladies also have board members. Yes. You got corporations. Yes. So our board of directors is a, it's a governance board, and it really dictates how and what the council focuses and operates on, and uh, it consists of major corporations and minority Who? businesses. Who? Major corporations. I'm like the I, I look at, I'm like the owl. I'm gonna be an like owl. Who? My, my my feet fit the limb right now. Who who is that? Who, who's on your board? So yeah, our major corporations. So like the chair of our board right now is NRG. Oh, so. Okay. We have um, the city of Houston is on our board of directors, um, Accenture, um, UTMD Anderson Cancer Center. Okay. So yeah. it, it, it's a great mix yeah. of companies. And what they do is help us understand what's happening within their organization so then we can go back and advocate on behalf of minority business development. So do you typically send out, uh, and I won't say bids, but do you send out opportunities to the mass of your vendors? Yeah, every Friday we send out procurement opportunities. See, oh, come on now. So we collect. <laughs> come them. on now. We collect them from the city, the state, the private sector, um, and that's our director of corporate services. I'll send a shout out to him, Lloyd Wright. Um, Lloyd, What's up, Lloyd? Lloyd <laughs> gathers all of that information, okay. and he and his team, and then he sends that out to everybody so that even if we don't know that you're directly in construction, you'll still see the types of opportunities okay. that come out right. so that you'll be able to say, hey, this may be a partnering, this may be somebody else I know, this may be another resource I can go to, mm -hmm. or whatever the case is, but we give you that information. So all you got to do is, I mean, you're sending out procurement opportunities. Yes. That means contracts, opportunities, right? Yes. In case some people say, okay, well, well, well what is procurement? Yep, that's contract opportunities. So when a, <laughs> what is procurement? That's right. right. When a okay. corporation or a government agency right. is looking for um, business op suppliers right. to mm -hmm. compete on these contracts, they'll send it to us, and we turn it out and send it to them. So, I mean, if you're linked up, synced up, got your certification, you're getting some of these opportunities right to your computer to see the things that's, Absolutely. you know, out there that you can actually try to get. Absolutely. Wow. That's what you guys sent out? Well, we asked you to register with the city as a vendor and a supplier. Okay. And so you do that going to the city's main website and clicking on that tab that says business. And uh, it gives you that opportunity to fill in that information and get a vendor number. Once you do that, you're able to log in and see at any time what's out there to bid. Okay. Yeah. So one of... Uh, we had a question to come in also. Uh, what was the difference between, it was a Facebook question that came in. Uh, thank you, Gwen. Uh, it came in and it said, what is the difference between DBE and DBA? Oh, okay. Well, DBE is Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. So that's your federal government. It is a socially and economically disadvantaged program. Uh, they have to look at your personal net worth in that program, but you want to make sure you're legitimately owned uh, by a minority woman, socially and economically disadvantaged person. So I need to back up and say all minority males and all women are presumed disadvantaged as long as your personal net worth is less than $1.32 million. So all women or are? Are. All women are, are presumed disadvantaged. Presumed disadvantaged. A part of a presumptive group Ooh, of disadvantaged. That might be another hour conversation. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? Hold it's, on, hold on. What? Historically, women-owned businesses and minority-owned businesses uh, or minority-owned persons and women uh, have uh, have had an uh, issue with getting capital or credit opportunities to start businesses or continue on with the business. So okay. that's what that disadvantaged program is about. And so when we say it's socially and economically disadvantaged, we can't exclude non-minority males. They just have to meet that criteria that their education, diminished capital, or credit opportunities has been I got disadvantaged. You. I got you. Yeah. Wow, that was a good one. But, now, uh, that's, now, that's some more education for no, you. That's right? DBE. That's Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. Now, DBA, yes. that's a sole proprietorship. You file that with your, uh, in your county, and okay. that's your business name. And Vanessa Applon Lesson is now doing business as Pink Casey. 
Okay. And so I filed that, and now I'm, I'm doing business. I'm, I'm a business, business at that point. Ass. I'm doing business as. So the doing business, the business as. Stuff. So there you can go. you can still be DB and then do doing business as. Right. So basically, if you are doing business as any name, you can apply for DBE certification. Wow. Yes, sir. So I don't think I knew that a, one. I yeah, thought one I knew is a bit. certification right. and the other is a business, business structure. structure. Right, it's there a structure go. where you go down yeah. and do the DBA. Yeah. There you go. The DBA. Yeah. So doing business as Rodney Woods or something like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, say that's, I mean, you know, th- and this is good information. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is good, solid information, but when you look at it, it's only about procurement and, and contracts, go. the same, right? Or capital. Right. To gain access to more capital to scale the business and get right. a back office and hire good people like you ladies, that right. kind of stuff, right? Right. I mean, why are we getting this all twisted? Is that's this is what the whole game is about. Right. This is I, why we were created. That's why we were created. <laughs> I like what kind of said. That's why we created it, in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, we try to simplify. Mm-hmm. Cause I mean it has been complicated for a lot of us mm-hmm. who really didn't understand why. Certification. Mm-hmm. Why minority businesses? Mm-hmm. Why do I need this, this, and that? You know, and and it's true. We didn't understand, but to to hear you know, constant Vanessa expound on certification and why that it makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it just makes all the sense in the world right. for you to become a certified business, no matter who you are. I mean, there are certain designations for everybody. Right. True. You know, and, and even now knowing that you can be certified and still go do a DBA. Mm-hmm. You know. So that's that's a good thing. So we got Dwayne on the phone. Dwayne, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Good, good, good. What's your question today, sir? My question is, um, I, I see you guys talking about different certifications for uh, small black minority-owned businesses. And what I wanted to talk, I wanted to throw something in there. Um, my, when I was in business, I also was uh, certified as a, a, a SO. Oh, SOVB, which is a service disabled veteran-owned business. Okay. Um, that's a certification that is very important, I think, to a lot of uh, minority business owners because uh, there are set-asides in the government just for disabled veterans. Mm-hmm. Correct. And uh, disabled veteran and minority-owned businesses. So that certification is very important because it allows you to get prime contracts within the government, and you can, sub- you can subprime those contracts out to uh, minority vendors. So uh, that is another avenue for uh, uh, African-American veterans and African-American disabled veterans especially. Correct. There's contracts set aside by the government just for disabled veterans. So yeah. and these are some of these contracts are multi-million dollar contracts. Absolutely. So I just want to put that in there too to, uh, to inform all the uh, our, 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 uh, disabled uh, minority veteran-owned businesses to get that certification. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Uh, Dwayne, we thank you so much for that because that's true and it, it's very important. And uh, I'm quite sure Vanessa expounded a little bit more. But thank you so much, Dwayne, for calling in the PN Global News KYND Radio. Thank you, sir. Thank you. But well, we don't have a veterans program uh, in place, uh, a veterans own program. But what we did with our persons with disability, mm-hmm. uh, if you have a service connected disability, and you can demonstrate that with a, a disability rating letter or a disability determination. Mm-hmm. We can include um, veterans in that program, in the Persons with Disability program. Okay, yes. okay. And that certification that the caller just mentioned, that is administered by the U.S. Small Business Administration. Okay. So okay. it's a federal certification. And remember that nugget we asked, or we said earlier in the program uh-huh. that University of Houston Small right. Business Development right. Center, Houston, right. they can help you right. obtain that certification. Okay, so go to University of Houston. <laughs> Get that certification for all you disadvantaged businesses mm-hmm. and veteran on Business, what right. veteran and disadvantaged, right? Right. Okay. Right. We're gonna come back uh, with the last segment of our show at PN Global News, KYND Radio eight three two two three zero five five nine two. Thanks for the call, Dwayne. Hi, this is Nicole R. Coleman host of the new show, Super Bold Live. Each week, I will feature real people just like you that have stepped out on faith, overcome fear, and made bold moves that transform their lives. We are creating a community of game changers. Listen in each week and let's help you unleash the power within. Bold talk, bold impact, 
bold transformation, be sure to connect with me at www.livesuperbold.com. Super Bowl Live with Nicole R. Coleman, Tuesdays, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1520 KYND. The power is here. KYND brings you star power. Yolanda Adams. Can I tell you how excited we are about being the KYND? Les Brown on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Rashawn McDonald. Show some love. Show some love. We're trying to make it sound big up in this joint. Access the power at KYNDRadio.com. We are so excited at KYND to have back the hit show, Do What I Say, featuring Dr. Polly Heil Neely. Doc, tell them a little bit about what you do. Yeah, we're a holistic healthcare clinic. We do everything holistic at Abundant Health and Wellness Clinic, and that's located at 323 East Main Street in downtown Humble, Texas. Or you can call us 281-312-2860. Tune in every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on KYND. It's your boy E.T. Listen to me. Everybody want to be a beast until it's time to do what real beasts do. So do me a favor. Start every day if you want to go to beast mode by listening to the kind of talk that inspires change right here on KYND Radio. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to KYND Radio, PN Global News, Rodney Woods, Vanessa, and Miss Constant Jones. I got it right that time. <laughs> They've been killing me over here like Rodney Woods. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say the whole name this time. I'm like, okay, I ain't going to mess this one up. But anyway, but. I <laughs> know, right? But Constant Vanessa, I mean, you know, it's been like a pleasure and an honor to have both you ladies on the show to expound on certifications and the importance of certifications and why you should come down to the building, to the seventh floor, the 611. Walker. Walker. The old Houston Walker. Power and Light building. See there? Why you should go get your six certifications. And, Dwayne, thank you for calling in, just making sure you're expounding on, you know, disadvantaged and veteran-owned businesses and what they should do because there's a lot, a lot of opportunities out here. But we, we do, and it's not up to us. It's up to you, right, right? right. to go get certified yeah. and, and take care of your own business. And I, I think, Vanessa, you wanted to expound on something that you guys will have coming up. Right. Well, we have a, a – I forgot to mention, I failed to mention about our uh, business plan competition, which is another uh, opportunity for you to grow your business through OBO, through another avenue of help from OBO. So uh, I give the hotline number because all the information is all at one number. So you call that hotline number and ask for information about that uh, business plan competition. Uh, there's a, a application and registration uh, for it and uh, once you get that information, it may be something you want to look into. And you do not have to be certified for that service. Uh, and then we also have the Mentor-Protege program that I forgot to mention. Mentor-Protege. So we know about the Mentor-Protege. You, you know, you need that Mentor-Protege program. There you program. go. So that's still there for you uh, to take advantage of. You know, it's like I said, it's, it's so much valuable information that's given out from Vanessa, you know, and Constance. And, like, all you have to do is take advantage of that's it. Right. That's right. You know, take advantage of what's been said today, you know, on KYD Radio, PN Global News, and go out and get certified. I mean, it's not that difficult. It's right. really not. Right. And even if there's, and we know that there's some things that happen with businesses or personal finances, mm -hmm. uh, even if you, and I'll say it, even if you had a BK, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you still had the opportunity to get certified. It doesn't right. stop you from doing work. No, no, right. no. You know, <laughs> uh, President 45 don't have four BK. <laughs> You know, I don't mind saying it. So we're on the air. Yes, we are. But it's true. But he's still a businessman, yeah, right? Yeah, and he's still right. president of the country. Right. With four bankruptcies. And I might be wrong about the number. No, I don't know <laughs> how many. It might be what we know about. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, you've had some financial challenges. You, you're you going to go through that. You're going to go through that as a business sometimes. And if you don't go through it, that's great. That's right. That's great. But that don't have anything to do with you getting certified. Absolutely nothing. Just go get certified. Right. Get certified as 
at, from the, from the city, from the federal government, you know, from the state, mm-hmm. you certify out of NMSDC. I don't care if you got 20 certifications. Right. Use them. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Absolutely. You know? I know y'all going to echo the same thing I'm saying. Use the certification. Mm-hmm. Right. Get the certification. Yep. Don't you know? just get them and sit them on the wall. Right. <laughs> yeah. You frame hey. them and leave them there. No, get out, meet people, do the work. You right. still have to do the legwork. Certification right. is just one component, but you still need to do the legwork and market your business and network. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go back to practice. You mean I got to go to practice? You have to go to practice. You have practice? to show up. We talking about <laughs> hold on now. We talking about practice. You show up and put something into it. Yes. <laughs> yes. You have to practice. You, you, you gotta show up, right? <laughs> you gotta show up. <laughs> you gotta show up. You gotta get in the game. Yep. You gotta participate. Yep. Right. You gotta network. You know, and, and you gotta get your processes and your business right. Yep. Right. You know, I I don't think any one of these young ladies here want to help you and you don't wanna be helped. So you you got to want to be helped. You got to, you know, get out of the bed, get out of the office, get out of your car, go see Vanessa, go see Constance, make sure you get certified, make sure you do the things that you need to do to get to the next level. I mean, you, you're trying to grow your business. This is your business. I mean, it's, you know, you have a responsibility on family now and right. yourself, yeah. you know, and the only way you're going to do it is get out there and go get it. There you go. Yeah. You got to right. network, you got to show up, and don't be afraid to you know, communicate with other people and, and partner with other companies mm-hmm. that do the same thing you do. Right. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a leader, right? Right. right. Somebody going to run the books. Absolutely. Somebody got to write the check. <laughs> right, right, right. You just need to be, like, on the checking account, maybe, right. you know. Trust, but verify. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all you need. You need to trust and verify. Like, like Constance said, you got to trust and verify, right. you know. But it's going to be somebody that's going to be a leader. Yeah. Okay. You know, and that's mm-hmm. going to be uh, a prime, that's going to be a subcontractor, yeah, exactly. or that's going to be what we call a tier one supplier and mm-hmm. a tier two supplier. Mm-hmm. All of those are pretty much the same. Yep. You know, it just got different, you know, taglines to mm-hmm. it. But somebody's going to be in, in lead of this contract. Right. And then that's going to be you underneath that contract mm-hmm. that's going to still provide the work and still get paid. That's right. And truthfully speaking, it's almost better sometimes as a tier one to go do business uh uh, with the major corporation I'm talking about to go do business as a tier two or a tier three uh, tier three supplier because mm-hmm. it's easier. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you're a tier one, it's tough. That's right. And if you don't have liquidity to, to sustain, <laughs> if you don't have that liquidity right. to sustain with Toyota or Frito Lay Pepsi mm-hmm. or Exxon, That's right. That's you in trouble. Right. That's right. You you are in trouble. Is that, that the same thing uh, applies on your side of the fence too? Well. That's more of a, a, a contract compliance question. Okay, okay. So I can't really say. I do know you need to have your stuff in place. In place. I mean, you do okay. have to be in place to, to do the work. Right. They want to make sure that you can get out there and you can, uh, if, if they need you to get this X amount of concrete in place, you need to be able to be the person to get that X amount of concrete you in gotta place. you got to have that bonding capacity. Right. To, right. And so it's not Hello. a certification <laughs> issue for you to have bonding in place. But, yes, yeah. contracting, that's something totally different. Yes. Right. yes. You so you still need to have, have those place. in place. Yes. Yeah. Right. So if you want to go out and you want to visit with Constance, you need to call Constance at 713-271-7805. And that's the Houston Minority Business Council. And if you want to do business with Vanessa, you need to call Vanessa at 800-832-393-0600. Option number one is certification. Option number one is certification. Hotline. Hotline. Number. I like the hotline. <laughs> I told you I like that hotline thing, right? <laughs> they probably like, oh, man, right? like the hotline. Yes, I, I like the hotline. I'm going to call it the hotline. I want to know how I'm going to get my sixth certification. And how you are you going to help me? And what do I need to do? What do you need to do? Right? I need to come in there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You need to come on in here and do this, right? If you have get specific questions, give us a call. But please, come to our workshop every Thursday, 2 o'clock. Or you can watch that workshop online in English and in Spanish at any time from the comfort of your home, at work. I don't want to say riding in the car, but if you're the passenger of a long trip, <laughs> go ahead and put it up on YouTube. Yes, we are there. <laughs> that workshop is there for you to view. So you can watch it. As a passenger, please. <laughs> while, while you're driving. <laughs> no, not while you're driving. Don't try to We're going to keep Houston safe. <laughs> there you go. All right. As a passenger, please. See, they're all about keeping you safe and everything. So just stay at home. <laughs> stay at home and watch the YouTube right. and everything else. But no, I, I mean, honestly, and also, you know, seriousness, like, 
This is PN Global News, and what we're trying to do is provide a voice for you to understand the things that you need to have to get your business off the ground. Uh, you're talking to the certification subject matter experts and in, in, in Constance and Vanessa, and they're sharing with you the things that you have to have, mm-hmm. the things you need to get in order to scale your business. That's part of it. I know capital is an important part, but you got to get a contract. Mm-hmm. You need to get a contract to continue to do business and continue to scale right. your business. So, I mean, you have access to Vanessa and Constance, the councils, the city, the federal government, the state. You have the access to it. Go out and do it. I'm going to leave you with this. Today is a good day. We had Constance and Vanessa in the house with us talking about certifications. It's up to you to go do what you need to do for your own business. Wish you much success. We'll see you on next Thursday from 10 to 12 noon. It'll be another segment, and we'll push it out on Facebook. Uh, you can also go visit us at Playbook Investors Network or PN Global News. I'm Rodney Woods, Ms. Constance, Ms. Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. Have a wonderful weekend. Expressed on KYND 1520 talk programs are those of the host, guest, and callers and are not necessarily those of this station, its owners, management, other hosts, or advertisers. Show topics on this station may include conversations on any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practices. KYND, a synergy broadcasting company.